Yo, what is good YouTube and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, I'm just gonna talk over quickly how to get a free diamond Daryl Griffith in NBA 2K21 my or NBA 2K22 my team. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm also gonna show you the card real quick breakdown, whether he's worth getting for you or not, and how hard it is to actually get the card. So um, yeah, just gonna give y'all a quick video, letting y'all know how to get this card and if he would be worth picking up for your squad. It's a free diamond shooting guard, small forward, very solid looking card. So uh, yeah, before we hop into it, if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button, help me push towards 2500 subscriber mark on the channel grinding every single day putting out content for y'all gonna have two videos today this is gonna be the first of the two so make sure if you haven't just hit that subscribe button to help to keep up with all the nba 2k22 my team content but without further ado let's hop right into it and check out this daryl griffith card all right so there's three cards for this diamond daryl griffith uh the first card that you're gonna get is an emerald Dar Dar Di an emerald daryl griffith uh, i'll show you how to get this card in just a second but this card's not very good he's got a 60 shot three 72 speed and excel but he can dunk the ball a little bit not much of a defender this card's not a card that you're getting to use in your squad i just want to point out real quickly there is an emerald daryl griffith that you're going to get that you're going to have to use for one accomplishment to get this diamond daryl griffith then you have the ruby daryl griffith this card is a better option he's got a 74 shot 380 speed and excel 85 driving dunk uh not as bad of a card a little bit of defense as well um still not a great card but not a terrible card either and then we have the actual diamond daryl griffith which is the card that you're grinding for and the question is is this card worth grinding for for your lineup he's 93 offense 86 defense six foot four with a six seven so he's got a similar size to a guy like cliff hagan which is fine at the shooting guard position right now two hot spots from outside the three only three or, or i'm sorry three hall of fame badges but only eight gold badges but looking at the badges that he has he's got hall of fame limitless takeoff lob city finisher and post riser and a 95 driving dunk this is going to be one of if not the best slashers in the game right now um also a bunch of other gold and silver finishing badges some shooting badges he gets blinders chef uh green machine mismatch expert things like that if you want to add them to him can also get uh dimer handles for days um unpluckable ankle breaker all the defensive badges that you would want you could add badges like for example you could add clamps intimidator handles for days um chef and blinders to him if you wanted to add those five badges and they would definitely improve this card make him a lot better he doesn't get quick first step but that's the only major badge that you can't add to this card um 84 shot three as well 84 speed excel 81 speed with ball 88 ball or 80 i'm sorry 83 ball handles so with a coach or shoe boost that can be boosted up to 86 so that you can speed boost as well as the ability to dunk and play solid defense very solid card honestly this diamond Daryl griffith is looking like a very very good option at the shooting guard position so the question is do you need a shooting guard and if you do is this daryl griffith going to be good enough to fill that spot for you because for a lot of people for a free card i think this daryl griffith is going to be a great option for a lot of people all right hopping back over to the lifetime agendas this is where in um you just go over here to the seasons tab go down to lifetime agendas and you can see what you have to complete for daryl griffith so for daryl griffith you have to first get the emerald daryl griffith card by scoring 50 card 50 points with jazz players over multiple games um a lot of these challenges when you look at them um one by one i think they look like there's a lot of stuff that you have to do but this card honestly for one he's very very solid but also i don't think it's going to be nearly as hard as it looks 50 points with jazz players over multiple games to get this emerald daryl griffith then you have to make 25 dunks with emerald daryl griffith who has an 80 driving dunk which is easily good enough to get those dunks um to get the ruby daryl griffith you have to score 200 points with the ruby daryl griffith including 75 in multiplayer games i would definitely recommend doing these in triple threat online um also have to score 41 points with him in a single game so these two things right here are going to give you 120 out of the 200 points that you need for this so these are all like combined you, all three of these are going basically going to get accomplished just by doing this one challenge um the one the way that i would do this 41 points is i would do the uh just a one domination game if you have current gen i'd probably recommend doing it on current gen because you can uh like run back cuts and stuff like that but even if you're on next gen just go watch the video there's a couple videos out by different youtubers on good three-point plays that you can run for domination that will get you open shots if this guy make it easy to score with him and back cuts are obviously going to be effective pick and rolls calls with daryl griffith as the role man or even as the ball handler will be good to get you to the rim to get dunks as well just this is not going to be all that hard this challenge will be easy to complete it'll take one domination game and you'll be able to get that one done this one will take several triple threat games but again it won't be that hard once you get get into a little bit of groove and you get a couple of good matchups uh, daryl griffith steals i would recommend probably knocking this one down knocking this one out in um triple threat and triple threat online the, when, when you're when you're knocking out these two challenges win 10 games of triple threat offline and 
five games of Triple Threat Online. The 10 games of Triple Threat Offline will be very easy. The five games of TTO might be a little bit harder, but I think you'll still be able to get it done relatively quickly. It might take you, who knows, it might take you 10 games, but you should be able to win 50% of those 10 games and um, win these five games. And honestly, you get decent rewards in this as well. You get a Colossal Pack, a Deluxe League Pack, a Sharpshooter Pack. This could be really good if you get a Hall of Fame Sharpshooting Badge. Uh, you get a little bit of MT, some tokens, another badge pack. Um, honestly, this is not that bad of a rewards. You get decent rewards for completing each of these challenges as well. So when you look at all this stuff at what you have to complete for Daryl Griffith, it looks like a good amount of stuff. But like when you're playing these 10 triple threat offline games, five triple threat online games, you can be completing the steals, the three points made, um, the multiplayer points when you're in triple threat online. Um, the 41 points is going to probably take one domination game, but you can complete that in just one domination game when you'll be done with it um the 200 points is going to be completed by completing these two challenges um and then by winning triple threat offline and online games the first two the first to get the emerald to start off this challenge you can just win a couple you'll probably have to win three triple threat off, um on three triple threat offline games i'm sorry but if you knocked out those three you're going to be part way through this challenge and while you're grinding for the emeralds so basically what i'm saying is this looks like a lot of stuff but it probably is only a challenge that will take you a couple of hours to complete you do all these challenges it'll probably take you about two hours maybe two and a half but um that's really not long at all i don't think for a really solid diamond like this card dale griffith i think is very very comparable to luka Doncic. i think it's kind of uh, opinion as to who's the better card did the uh, dale griffith i think he has a better jump shot he's going to be a better slasher he's going to be faster uh luka may have more total badges but i think dale griffith overall is probably the better card and uh for free honestly looks like a very very solid card a card who i think a lot of people could add to their squads and have a lot of success with so hopefully this video does help y'all out just a quick breakdown on how to pick up this card and how to do it as qu quickly and as easily as possible so if this video does help you out or if you are interested in getting this card if you just enjoy the video in general make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe and i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon i appreciate y'all peace